Yeah, good morning YouTube. So this is a little PIR or motion sensor if you will. You can see there and I've printed out some pictures that I found online that show some details on this since it's so small. Uh, this one is a 3.3 .3 volt operation. It does have a voltage regulator on board so you can supply it up to 15 volts. 50 microamp current and let me flip this over. There's larger modules that have, for instance, adjustable pots on board. So you can, you can set the delay time, sensitivity. This one, there's no adjustable features on board. There are these two pins right here. You can see this big picture. That's these two guys right here. You can install a photo sensitive diode or LDR light dependent resistor in there and uh, I'll get you one of those to look at. Yeah, so here's one of the light dependent resistors. You can see it's also a tiny little part and I think this one should fit right in here. Okay there we go. Stuck in the light dependent resistor. I'll solder this in and see how it works here a little bit later. That keeps it from operating during the daytime. So that's one I wanted to do. And then here's this other adjustable feature. Like I say, on the larger PIR modules, this would be a potentiometer that you could adjust with a little, get your little screwdriver in. On this one, they just give you two solder pads. That's these two pads right here. You can solder in a resistor in there to adjust the off delay time. Here's the uh, values you can put in. But what I've done is I've put in an 820k ohm resistor, which sets it to 15 seconds. So I wanted about 15 second uh, delay time. Again, so this is the little module here. It has as, as its pins. So there's a plus, minus, and output. And here's the little circuit I came up with. So I have my battery over here, either three or four nickel metal hydrides to give me 3.6 to 4.8 volts. I haven't added an input capacitor, but I'll probably do that in the final version. And then here's my PIR sensor. You've got the power, ground, and then the output. I go through a resistor to the base of a 2N3904 switching transistor. And then there's the series limiting resistor. Right now I have it at 150 ohms and I have a string of 30 red LEDs and let me show you that here and there you can see let me turn on this turn off this light in fact I'll turn off this other light it's daylight right now so it's a little bit uh, bright but I have my LEDs here a little string of LEDs and if I move into the field of view of the sensor they turn on and then there should be about 15 seconds and they turn off and you can see if I bring my hand down here they sense automatically so this is basically my prototype circuit here so it's just a little prototype so I've got my transistor right here there's the 4700 ohm 47k resistor and then I've got my 150 ohm current limiting resistor. Again, these are the red LEDs. And I think I'm running about 10 milliamps at this brightness. And I have the three nickel metal hydrides there, you can see. I also have some warm white LEDs, which are going to be a little higher voltage. And I'll probably go to four nickel metal hydrides for 4.8 volts to get a little better run time and, and be able to drive the higher voltage LEDs. So these are about two volts forward voltage drop and 30 LEDs in parallel. I may actually adjust this resistor and, and limit the current. I, I just need to see what these look like once I install them. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this little tiny motion sensor there. This is the smallest one I've seen and the idea is I want to run this on batteries so at 50 microamps I figure this is a pretty good 
option, very low power consumption, because I, I'd like to have these batteries last, say, for three or four months on a charge. That way I'm not having to change the batteries out so often. And I think that should be doable at, at that kind of standby power, 50 microamps, would last quite a while. And then the LEDs being on only 15 seconds at a time, and only at night, if I add this uh, light-dependent resistor, should make a pretty nice uh, setup. So let me uh, try to plug in that LDR, and we'll see if it works.